Hey, what up, guys? I'm Ray Kirsten, and I'm bringing you a new tutorial on After Effects with the random numbers motion tracking effect. So, today's video is in English, obviously. I won't change for French while well, this video, like I did last time. Don't worry, guys. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial in English is because um, I thought that it didn't need much explanation compared to my other tutorials. So, yeah. Um, just so you know, guys, I would like to get some feedback from my English if I should make uh, some other. Um, English tutorials and what I should um, improve in my English. So yeah, on if I get um, over 200 likes on this video, I'll show you guys how to make this cool transition that my friend Renzi made. He's a cool editor, and I thought that this transition would be perfect for a tutorial. So yeah, um, for today's tutorial, uh, to start off, you're just going to make a new composition. Uh, I'll just show you guys my composition settings and then you're going to import a cool cinematic and track it so to track it just right click on it go on track camera and then on the effect tab you should get this 3d camera tracker effect and it should be analyzing so once the analyzing is done you will be able to click on create camera and you'll get this pink layer right here so yeah uh, once this done you will be ready to um, to start motion tracking so yeah and then you're just going to um, to right click in your composition go on new text and then I'll just do like friended for Pomage's montage and put like random amount of subscribers like that 90k so yeah okay now I'll just going to uh, yeah I'm just going to motion track it by clicking on this cube right here and you'll get this um, this text motion tracked. So yeah. Uh, then what you have to do, uh, you can change the font and the color. I won't do it, but you can. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now to animate it and randomize it, just go to uh, your text, animate, and go to character offset. And now uh, you gotta go to character offset, right here drag the first keyframe which is on zero and now you can just um, change the amount to like 10 and it should be enough I think I'll just uh, preview it yeah maybe um, some more like 50 I think yeah that's maybe too much I'll put like 25 Okay, so once that's done, you should get this randomizing effect, and now you can just go on your last keyframe and um, F9 on your keyboard, or just uh, right click on it on your keyframe, go to your keyframe assistant, and go on easies, and now it should be more fluid if I can say. Okay, so now you gotta get this cool uh, randomizing effect. Now what you can do is to add some uh, camera blur. So you can go on your camera options and change the uh, focus distance. So you could just go right here and just change the focus distance. But I don't think that I don't think that this option is good enough. So what I do is that I go on my effects and presets tab and take the Gaussian blur effect right here and drag it on my text like that okay and how I animate it is that like once it's like I don't know how to explain but I'll just show you okay so once you're close to your text just like right here just keyframe it and go like right here and change the blur just to make like a kind of focus you know like that so now get this kind of realistic blur right here okay so now the only thing you gotta do is to duplicate every single text layer you have um, some people could say uh, that it would be better to like multiplicate it, multiplicate it with um, element 3D or uh, trap code particular but I think that um, it's better to do it by hand because uh, on this kind of multiplicator uh, you get these kind of errors like where the text is kind of um, behind this wall or under the ground or stuff like that 
So just do it by hand. Uh, that's my advice. Okay. And then if you wanna make your text a bit like nicer, and if it's like on a white background, you can just add some drop shadow like that and change uh, the settings. But I won't do it. Okay. So yeah, right now we'll just going to duplicate it and change the um, the number right here maybe to 45 and then change the position like right here and the important thing about that is to change the um, Z position because if you don't change it you want you will have like um, like text layers on the same uh, like um, like on the same plane if I can say or <laughs> I don't know okay so yeah uh, so now you're just going to extend this uh, randomizing effect and uh, change the amount to like 35 like 10 more and then it should be fine I'll just push it back a bit like that okay and now just what you could do is to make two keyframes like two blur keyframes right here like at the beginning whoa that's way too much like maybe like that and then go at the end the end of it and put these two keyframes again like that so now you have these kind of blur effects and it's pretty cool so yeah now I'll just um like change my um, text rotation like that so whoa okay so rotation and maybe change it a bit like not much but like just just to see that there's some rotation like that that should be good and now what you gotta do is to like duplicate every single text change it change the blur the keyframes of the randomization uh, and yeah that's it so yeah uh, this tutorial is coming to an end I'll just end it and conclude it by saying that um, if you get get me 200 likes on this tutorial I'll show you guys how to make this cool transition that my friend Brenzy made and yeah so guys don't worry to follow me on Twitter uh, like this video and subscribe so yeah it was Nordic see you guys